Oh, Joe Ring. Toastmasters, you got a new job. I got another job. Another job? Yeah. I, I, I was hoping that this year they might just leave me alone, but I uh, wouldn't be that lucky. No, I've got the... Um, I, in Toastmasters, as you know, Ollie, we do all the roles. Um, there's five or six roles. It takes 15 to run a meeting. So uh, the roles from the committee side of it is that I am PRO this year. So I have to promote the club. And in actual fact, it's probably the most difficult job of all. Because it's, as you know, it's a very difficult thing to explain. What, when people come up and ask me, what is Toastmasters? It's a very, unless you come along, it's very difficult. And that's actually why I'm here now. I'm hoping that maybe we might get a few people to come along and have a look at it. Because people are, um, as you know, daunted by it. They're terrified to come in in case people are going to pick on them to, to speak. And it's not about speaking, Ali. It's about building up their confidence. People go there for different reasons. As, as you go yourself, you go for the fun. I go for the fun. So it's a great spot to be in. Yeah. Basically, what do you do? Well, my role this year is... To, is What's to, your role? What does Toastmaster do? Well, Toastmasters... It does different things for different people. Uh, for instance, I know people who go in there, they want to, they, they may work in maybe in Aragon and they want to, to, to hone up their, 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 their skills on, on, on presenting. And it teaches them, it gives them the confidence to be able to, the, the confidence and the know-how and how to be able to, to, to present that, that thing. So for other people go up to go in there just for the fun of it. Because as you know, we have some fantastic nights there. There isn't a night, and I think we've spoken about this in the past, that we haven't learned something. In any given night we've been there where we haven't learned something. For, 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 yeah. But uh, what does Toastmasters do? Here we go again. I, I'm, I'm, I'm the PRO and I'm finding it difficult to explain. Well, would, it be, would it encourage people to uh, speak publicly? It does. It, it teach. I think the biggest. Well, what it did for me was it. Um, as as you know, I would speak for Ireland. But uh, when it comes to standing up, speaking is a fear, and we we have come to understand that now. It's taken a long time. The people don't realise that standing up in public is a fear, like flying, or or well, swimming, or fear is fear, fear of water. It's a fear. So we have to overcome it. And what Toastmasters did for me was, as a, it's, it's like it teaches the butterflies how to fly in formation, in that you'll always be a little bit, a little bit uh, nervous, but it teaches you how to control them nerves. And then it teaches us tricks on how to, how, on how to um, I suppose, develop our skills and uh, stand up there in front of the public and... Uh, Speak, I suppose, and it's not all about speaking. It's it's we're we're using it as a medium, as a medium to build confidence. Uh, we did it in the schools, as you know, Ali, and uh, we found it was ex absolutely excellent in, in there because the children of today or the kids of today we are finding are losing the art of communication and listening. And the reason for that is, I suppose, it's the world we live in. It's the technology. It's the it's the it's the playstations. It's the the, the, all these things that they're, that they're on, the phones, the, and they've lost the art. They could be in a room with a thousand people and speak to nobody on Facebook. And they've lost the art a little bit of, of communication. And, and from that, we went and we, we went back, we went into the schools and we developed a plan and we developed um, a, a program for them, which worked perfectly, as you know. It was fantastic. They loved every minute of it. And so that was only one, one aspect of, of what we do. So um, in, in Toastmasters, it's, it's different things for different people. But first and foremost, I, I'd like to think it's, it's to have a fun night out, yeah. go out and meet people. It's another group. It's like any group. And we're all there for the one reason, to help one another and develop. And it's a night out. And we have our coffee at nine. We have some great fun and topics. And nobody is put under any pressure. You, you go along at the pace you want to go along at. If you want to develop speeches, you develop them. If you want to do topics, there's other roles you can do. And you do it at your own pace when you're ready. There's nobody putting the hammer on you. And it's one thing you can leave and come back to. So you're in existence since 2000, is it? It's in existence. Westport is in existence. I think you were one of the founder member, members and Dolores Brady and a few more. And uh, you founded it in, in uh, it's 2000. I think it's going into its uh, 17th year. Yep. Uh, and it's getting stronger and stronger. I think you'll vouch for that. It's getting stronger and stronger. And how often do you talk, or when do you have it? We uh, we speak. Uh, it's we start from September to maybe the middle of May, and we speak every. Uh, we speak. We gather every two weeks, uh, up in the Knockranny House Hotel at um, eight o'clock, eight to ten. And as I say, it's a, it's 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 a fabulous night out. It's an absolutely mm. fabulous night out. And we have all different. We have all denominations and creeds and. We have Hindu sheiks and Jesus freaks and road sweepers and doctors and you name it. They're there and we all mix and we have some fun. It's very disciplined. It's a dis yeah, it has to be. 
It's it's an Americanized thing, and most Americanized things are, things are. But it's one that works. It's like the spokes of a wheel. Everybody does the bit they're supposed to do, and if they don't, it shows up. And uh, that's why we do it. Everybody does a little bit, and uh, from that, uh, a great night is had. You can't hide in Toastmasters. So you'll have the whole town public speaking shortly. With the help yeah. of God. Come How many on. members do you have? We have, uh, we're working on... Annually. Uh, well, yeah, we're working on somewhere around 50 members. 50 members. 40 yeah. to 50 members. And what we're looking for this year especially is we have, um, we're trying to get a, a little bit of youth in. We, we had it in there a couple of years ago. And the problem we find with that is they had a ball. They loved it. But they go off to college and they go off working in other towns. So we're looking for, to refresh it. So mm. we're looking for a bit of youth and a bit just to, to stir up there and give freshness all up. And, uh, and we will help, we will help them and they will help us. Everyone's welcome. Everybody is welcome and very welcome.